Well, Gary, that was very disappointing today, wasn't oh, it? Nightmare. Nightmare. Yeah, like, you know, never got going. Uh, never got going uh, throughout the day and throughout the game. Never played our football, never got the pass in. Never had a shot for the goalkeeper to save in the first 45 minutes. Very fortunate to go in 1-0 down at half-time. Uh, all credit to Steve Caldwin and Staines. They fetched a couple of players in, they freshened it up. It certainly livened them up. They had a lot more desire than us. They hit the crossbar with an header. And there was one or two other good opportunities they had. We had no complaints today. We've had a bad day at the office. And, you know, sometimes you have to put your hands up and turn around and, you know, as I say, hopefully it is a bad day at the office and, and move on. But, you know, uh, we've had a tremendous run. It's come to an end. Uh, surprise to a lot of people, of course, and ourselves. Uh, in the manner of the way we played today. But, you know, we've got to turn around and reflect on the situation where we are after 25 games, and that will be the case. And see where we are at the moment today, see how the league table looks, and now fully focused for, you know, preparing for, you know, coming fixtures coming ahead. And you must be particularly disappointed because Aaron Howe pulled off a quite magnificent save, penalty save, just before half-time. And you must have thought maybe that would kick us on in the second half. Yeah, you know, to be honest with you, John, uh, we, you know, I, 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 was, I was so pleased really at half-time, even if we if would have come in one nil down. We would, you know, you have to turn around, as I say, we've, we've had a lot of accolades over the last uh, 11, 12 months since we come to the club. And rightly so. And rightly so, uh, the players have done brilliant. And the management staff have worked hard. But we've had a situation here today where, as I say, we come in 1 0 down uh, 15 minutes in the second half. And it was coming. It's been coming, John, to be honest with you, over the last uh, two or three games in patches. We haven't played as well as we, we can. Whether that's down to a little bit of nerves and, you know, people turn around and say, well, you're out. You know, Moses had a mole out today, you had Dal Bins out, you had Mark Ricketts out, you had Alan Inns out today, you had Jay Davis play with tonsillitis. But let me tell you, the team was good enough on paper to go and get a result today. We didn't win enough personal battles out there. And whoever you play against, you've got to win personal battles. And I haven't been uh, in the position to be able to stand here, and not that I stand here um, with any happiness and say that, but that's where it was today. And you must have thought we've got to get out of jail card when uh, Jack King got a penalty in the last minute and then, much to everyone's amazement, he put it past the post and it again summed up the day. Two records gone together, really. You know, you look at it, that uh, Jack's been taking the penalties and he continue taking the penalties. Uh, that's not a problem. You know, he's had, uh, I think, half a dozen penalties before today this year. Good penalty taker and, you know, it's a situation that, you know, is it pressure? Uh, what starts coming on because expectation becomes more and more and more or is it one of them things uh, that it does happen all levels of football people miss penalties but no no blame there you know no blame there in any way or form he's, he's done brilliant for Jack as a player and as, as I say taking penalties but as I say uh, it's it stains his day to day um, all uh, say compliments to Steve Caldry and his staff and their players because um, hopefully for his uh, club, that they perform on that on a regular basis. And if someone turned around and said to me, if there was any team you want to lose to, you would always pick with the greatest respect teams at the bottom and other teams around you. So it's not as, uh, as probably as bad as we could have done. And I suppose there is a need to be philosophical, isn't there? Because you cannot win every game, you can't play well in every game. And you know, it's been a quite magnificent record really this season with only one defeat before today. So there is a need to put things in perspective. Ah, John, it's hurting me. There's no doubt about it. It's hurting. You know, it's hurting at the moment because I want next Saturday to come and you don't wish your life away, whoever you are, but I need, I need Saturday to come quick. You know, we want, you know, we want our training sessions this week to come quick. We want the Surrey Senior Cup game to come quick. We want to get out and we've got to go and put things right now. But you have to move on. You have to move on, as I say, and you correctly say there. It's been a great run. We had a tremendous, tremendous run of consistency. Over 17 games, we've gone brilliant. Last week at the highest level, you know, Manchester United getting beat home by Blackburn. And you see other results last week that Sunderland beat Man City and, you know, things happen and teams get rolled over. We don't expect it. No one expected that here today. And I think if you are Steve Caldwell, you probably didn't expect it. But as I say, 
We've had our accolades. We've done very well in the past. Today it was a bad day at the office. Great crowd, 2,100, tremendous crowd. You know, they played their part. And I think we've all left here, probably apart from 37 Staines fans and a few hot dogs and uh, cheeseburgers. And, <laughs> you know, we're all disappointed. But that's life, but all credit to them. And finally, Gary, losing today, do you think that gives sides around us a bit of a sniff? There's a long way to go. We've always said there's a long way to go, you know, at the end of the day. Of course it gives them a sniff, gives them all a, an opportunity, you know, and at the end of the day, uh, we've still got a lot of work to do, there's no doubt about that, but we'll be all right. We'll be all right. I'm, I'm pretty confident that we'll be all right, like I say, but um, it, it does show and it does say to you, and it says to everybody else, look, you know, there's a lot of points to play for and everyone's got to play each other and we've still got to play teams, but like I say, um, Sitting in a nice healthy position tonight still, so you know, you can't turn around and reflect 90 minutes of a bad home game over the course of the last 12 months and you can't reflect on 90 minutes of a bad home game where you lose your own record and then forget all those other 23 games where out of the 25 where you took results this year where you're sitting where you're sitting. So on merit at the moment after 25 games, uh, we're where we want to be. And now we've got to turn around and uh, prepare for next Saturday's own game against Bromley. Lovely, thank you very much, Gary. Cheers.